Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2018-19 Panini Chronicles basketball six box half case pick a team number two. We did the first half a little bit earlier tonight. So thanks and we remember we marked all these number two so you know that they're from the same case. Very big thank you to all of these folks who rallied around this break and helped fill it up late on a Thursday. This break should bring us, if you're watching live, this break should bring us right to the end of the night. David Bruins, double last spot mojo. Um, but I'm down to do either a Jaspies Fanatics break or one of those one box um, Immaculate Collegiate breaks if, uh, if, those, if one of those fill by the end of the night or by the end of this break. All right, good luck, everyone. Good news, everybody. I don't know if you have heard, but it, it is official. Zion Williamson has signed with Panini. I'm sure Panini executives are very happy about that too. And us as collectors and fans are also excited about that. From a case-breaking business perspective, that's also a good thing. So now, all we got to do, knock on wood, is hope that, that he has a strong start to the season and delivers on the hype that's surrounding him. But I think the entire 1920 draft class, at least most of the names... Seem to be pretty solid, so I think we'll be. I think we'll be okay. It'll be a pretty even class, I hope, all around. There's Dante Divincenzo to 99. Now I am probably going to miss some numbered parallels. That's to 49, Kevin Knox. But our shipping team will definitely look through these and make sure that any of these numbered cards are pulled and sent and all that. And this, of course, will take care of right away. 11 out of 25, Marcus Derrickson, Golden State Warriors, Mark Nation. Rookie maximizes minutes, which is good. you got to do that if you're a rookie. There's Landry Shamit, 249. I'm almost certain that everything ships. Maybe maybe not that, like, Chronicles veteran base may not ship, but pretty much everything else will. That will... Wendell Carter Jr. I think they should do, I don't know, this preview makes me think they're thinking about Obsidian for the 1819 class or maybe even the 1920 class. It's Tobias Harris. Nice Trey Young. There is Momentous Rookies, Wendell Carter Jr. to 99. That will be for the Bulls, Josh Reich with Chicago. There's Josh Okoge to 249. Mo Bamba to 99. SGA. Marvin Bagley, Marvin Bagley. Bruce Brown for the Pistons. That's to 99. Mitchell Robinson to 36. And there's Jerome Robinson for the clip show and that luminance design, which is pretty sharp. Let's just these numbered cards over here. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. What's uh, what's everyone's? If you're especially if you're in this break, what's what's your basketball team? And maybe in a quick sentence, what are you what are you hoping for this season? I'm a Lakers guy. I grew up in L.A. Demarcus Cousins down. Might have to retire. I was hoping, expecting a lot from him, but it seems like I actually only saw the news earlier today. I don't know if they've actually come out with an additional report, but. Early reports were that it's, that it was an ACL that is, uh, which is going to put him out for the season easily, and maybe his career at this point. I think I think Boogie Cousins was already like kind of ugh, these injuries are really frustrating my career. You know what I mean? Like he was ready to retire, but I think he f wanted to give it one more go. You know, he lost a lot of weight. 
You know, so he was looking lean and mean. But this latest setback, that might be it. Out of 99, Omari Spellman, which is a shame to go out that way. There's Jared Jackson Jr. to 49. Sean is a uh, Timberwolves guy saying Wolves to make the playoffs. All right. Well, who did the Wolves add this season? Refresh my memory. I feel like Carl Anthony Towns has to take like the next step, next step in the evolution of his career, right? There's Zach Lofton. Rookie auto to 49. Pistons. No, they didn't add anyone. There's Hamadou Diallo to 249. All right, well, listen. They can, they can make things work. I'm sure they do. Who do they draft? Michael Porter Jr. Adam Silver's nemesis. There's traits of a true king, Harrison Barnes. Yeah, Wiggins definitely needs to step up. What is this? Whoa! Timeless Inc. Charles Barkley autograph. Five out of ten. And that is Sixers edition. And that's Josh Proust who got the Sixers straight up. Let's see if I have the right top loaders here for this. There you go. Nice. Dad. Look! Look how! Look how slim Charles Barkley looks. Sixers Charles Barkley. At least that picture makes him look slim. Miles Bridges. All those Miles Bridges will ship. You know he's got a little extra value because his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. Marvin Bagley, ninety-nine. Got to 149, Miles Turner for the Pacers. Luka Doncic says, of course, will save. And that Trey Young as well. Um, I guess it might, might be a little late for Josh Proust to be watching right now. So good morning, Josh. There's your Charles Barkley. It's a good, good way to start the day. So, Sean, we got Wiggins. Wiggins needs to step it up. Carl Anthony Towns is a, is a beast, but he's got to continue evolving too, especially if he has to carry that team. You know, who else do the Timberwolves have? I, I, I feel like they were always on the cusp of, you know, making, making something happen. Oh, we got Jeff T. Okay, we want Josh Okogie to maybe take the next level. Maybe Kata Bates Diop could do something. Jordan Bell's on that team now, too. I like Covington. He was pretty solid for the Sixers. Jeff Teague back there. Shabazz Napier is the backup point guard. There's some pieces. There's some pieces. Things could happen. Yeah, Rubio gone is kind of rough. Could they make could this team as it stands make the playoffs? They may need to make some moves. You know, if they, if they're if they're there. But just in the regular season, they can definitely fight for that eight seed, for a late seed. All right, so you never know. Hope springs eternal in the summer. There's SGA, nice origins, on-card autograph. Still Clippers edition here. That's to 99. Clip show, that's gonna be for Douglas Warden. Sean saying we need a true vet. You know, I don't know. I really wish Jimmy Butler worked on that team. There's Trey Young. Although is that is that Miami Heat team gonna be any any better? Five out of forty nine Jalen Brudson. Brudson. And Drew Eubanks is a rookie auto for the Spurs. That's going to go to Douglas Warden. 
Steve Olson wondering what else we're going to break tonight. Well, by the time we're done with this, we really only have time for either the Jaspies Fanatics break or a one-box break of Immaculate Collegiate Football. That's really all we have time for, I'm afraid. But if you want to rally around that, we can definitely do that tonight. EJC, what's going on? You're, you're down on this football class already? Man, that's a little early, isn't it? A little early for that kind of talk. SGA, one out of 99. Anthony Simons, to 149. Trey and Luca. All right, Sean, I'll see you. Pascal Siakam to 149. From last year just doesn't compare. Well, we've had the luxury of seeing all of last year's players play an entire season. We have no idea what's going to happen with this class. That's the exciting part. There's Bruce Brown to 249. A lot of people were down on Baker Mayfield last year. Aaron Holiday to 10. 10 out of 10 for the Pacers. That'll be for King D. Three boxes to go. Still think Kyler Murray had a rough night tonight against my Raiders, but I think Kyler Murray will uh, we'll be able to bounce back. I know this is a basketball break, folks. Sorry about that. But I think just football is really on the, on the minds of the people. Um, you know, Cleveland Farrell from my Raiders, I like. He could be a beast. Daniel Jones is underrated, folks. I know, I know a lot of people are down on Daniel Jones, but he looked great in that one preseason game. And if he takes over for Eli this season, it could be big. Always good to have a couple of quarterbacks in the first 10... Ten picks. I guess there is a lot of offensive line, defensive line kind of guys. We need TJ Hawkinson to blow up for the Lions, that's for sure. You know, Marquise Brown as a wide receiver. I mean, I remember guys like Dak Prescott were like a fourth, fifth round picks back in the day. And look how they turned out. I think it's hard to say. Hard, hard to write off a class. Even compared to last year, it's hard to write off a class before some shots have been fired. There's Svi Mahaliak. Pistons edition. Jersey and autograph in that gold standard design. 79 out of 99. That is for the Pistons. Sanford, the former Laker. I agree, Martin. The great thing about this product, Martin's saying, is that with the Mazen Hawks, show me different Luke and Trey parallels. You can get a decent return for those alone. Right, you can grind out all of these Trey Young and, and Lucas, and you know, even if you don't get a get a get a hit, you could probably grind out like I don't know, a decent amount. A, a solid fraction of the break. Break cost of admission. There's SGA to one forty nine. Javon Carter to 149. No, no jazz yet, Chad. Bradley Beal to 149. More Miles Bridges. All those Miles Bridges will ship too. You can probably grind out those Miles Bridges and probably get a decent return as well. At 249, Josh Kogie. We were just talking about him. Andrew Shamit to 99. Mo Bamba is numbered to 149. AJC's been buying up Trey since the season ended. I think that's smart. 
I think the knock on Trey Young was that, well, preseason was like, oh, all he's going to do is just jack up threes in that bad Atlanta offense and blah, blah, blah. No, dude turned out to be a real team player. Yeah, he did shoot the threes, but he really committed to learning the offense. Got a lot of people, different people involved, like Kevin Huter and those other guys. From Vanguard, Jersey and Autograph, Channing Fry, 10 out of 99. Cavs edition going to Jeremy. So yeah, Trey Young. I, I think that trade... I think that trade actually worked out kind of nicely. There's Hamadou Diallo to 49. And think about all the additional picks. There's Kevin Huter, speaking of Trey's teammate. And think about all the additional picks that they picked up as well. So I know those picks weren't as high as the Hawks fans would have wanted them, but still, that's additional bodies on that team that could turn into somebody's. six right there. Folks, save your pennies. Immaculate basketball is coming up in a couple of weeks or so. Get ready for that. A couple weeks? Sooner? No, uh, at the last Wednesday of the month, Immaculate ba uh, Basketball. Still 18-19 class. So then this stuff is still hot. Some rough corners right there from the packaging. Michael Porter Jr. to 149. Ninety-nine, Chandler Hutchinson. Jerome Robinson to one forty-nine. Mo Bamba, Magic to ninety-nine. That's for Roy. Want to skip any of these Trey Youngs? There's Devontae Graham to 49. And Lori Markin in autograph. Nice. 23, just one off the jersey number as usual. 23 out of 49. That's for Josh Reich and the Bulls. Bulls could be an interesting team, maybe? Or are they still, they're probably still a little ways away, but. Oh, let me look at their depth chart here. Chicago Bulls. All right, Wendell Carter Jr. We need him to develop. Lori Markinen, Otto Porter Jr., Zach Levine. You know, maybe Zach Levine revival. They got Chris Dunn on the team. Chandler Hutchinson. We would like to see. All right. I don't know. Maybe not this year, but it's Omari Spellman, but. Roy Markin, if he could stay healthy. Sorry about that. It's from the manufacturer right there. There's Mo Bamba to 149, but... There's Siakam to 149. And Hamadou Diallo. Momentous Rookies, on-card autograph, 12 out of 99, that Majestic style. That's for Douglas Warden, Doug, with your dunk contest winner. What does the Thunder do? Well, no, you know what? For the Thunder, if it were me, I know it sucks for the fans. If, I was, if I'm the GM of that team... 
I am thrilled. Because, you know, this is what GMs live for, right? Like, let's let's build this team. You know, they're not coming into a job where they're, you know, where they're stuck with, uh, you know, a big contract player and all this sort of, all these expectations and all that sort of stuff. They can, it's a rare moment to start almost completely from scratch. You know, eventually you'll shed that Steven Adams contract. You'll you'll get Chris Paul off that roster. And you can build around, you know, maybe SGA, Hamadou Diallo, who could be a good good energy guy off the bench. Andre Roberson, you know, Danilo Gallinari still solid. And you've got boatloads of picks that they can work with. So that could be super interesting. Of course, the Pelicans are even, even in better shape, I think. I'm not really a bet the futures kind of guy, but I feel like the Pelicans, you can really get a good, good over on here. Drew Holiday, J.J. Redick is a great backcourt, backed up by Lonzo and Josh Hart off the bench. Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Derek Favors. An Okafor up front, and maybe the emergence of Jackson Hayes as well for the Pelicans could be great. Zanfrey Simons to 149. Wendell Carter Jr. to 249. DeAndre Ayton. Oh, I thought that was going to be ink. To 99. There's Lonzo. And Kevin Willis, Timeless Inc. 9 out of 10, another old school guy. It's Houston Rockets, David Brooms with the Rockets. Out of 99, Troy Brown Jr. And Landry Shamit to 149. No, nothing for the Raptors yet, I'm afraid. But the Raptors, you know, being a $9 team, can't really expect big hits there. But with a lot of uh, numbered cards and whatnot heading out to everybody, you may be able to grind out a, a little bit of a profit with some of these hits, with some of these cards, just the cards alone. There's SGA to 99. There's Luka Doncic. I like that elite design right there. Mo Bamba to 149. EJC is kind of shocked that uh, DeAndre Ayton cards don't sell for more. Well, you know what? It's just because he's on the Suns. And the Suns kind of had a down year, and you know, it's and and, and DeAndre Ayton's numbers are fine, but it's not like, you know, he got a little overshadowed by Trey Young and 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 uh, Luka Doncic's offensive performance. I think that makes DeAndre Ayton a great buy low candidate, which is kind of crazy to say because he still sells well, you know, but. There's some good buy low opportunities there. And the last hit is Mo Bamba, jersey and auto in that XR football design, 16 out of 50. That goes out to Roy in the Magic. There you go, Roy. Last hit of this break. And there you have it, folks. Buy low on that DeAndre Aiden because when and if he blows up, if and when, when and if, I hope he does, then you'll be in a great position. That's my two cents for entertainment purposes only. There you have it, folks. That was the second half of Chronicles Basketball. We don't have any more Chronicles Basketball, but there is some great hoops products coming up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So keep an eye on it on the website, and we'll see you for all those breaks. Immaculate Basketball coming up in a couple of weeks. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com.